You see, oftentimes sellers forget that selling on Amazon and Amazon is an algorithm that works as a search engine because it is a search engine. So when people go to Amazon, they are simply typing a keyword to find you, right? So in order for you to expand your sales on Amazon, your listing needs to show up for as many keywords as possible. Now, when you first launch, Amazon is going to throw you all the way in the back of the searches and you need to simply make it up to the top of the searches, right? And what you do is you need to focus on one, two, three, maybe keywords where your listing is very well optimized for those keywords. So your product can start indexing for these keywords. And then once you are ranked among the top five for on page one, then you start focusing on other keywords. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, what indexing means is simply if I type, you know, uh, whatever keyword on Amazon, the listing should show up. That means that listing indexes for a specific keyword. How do you optimize a listing? Well, listing optimization um, is simply taking keywords and inserting them uh, um, in the listing. A few of the sections that a listing uh, needs to have the keywords in for it to optimize for a specific keywords are title, backend search terms, product, um, uh, product features, and also product description. Depending on the keyword and how important it is or whatnot, you can put it in multiple places in one or two or three even or all places if it's one of your top keywords. Now, at the same time of launch, you should have started your PPC campaigns, especially what I call your discovery campaigns and your auto campaigns. And those, you know, it's pretty much with your discovery campaigns, you're giving Amazon a few keywords by really giving them the room to kind of go out there and find more relevant keywords and giving them 10, 20, 30 dollars per day and saying, hey, I need you to go find all the customers that are searching for my product to buy products like mine, show my products for them, but most importantly, give me the keywords that they're searching for. And then you simply start looking for the search term that the customer is looking for specifically, and you put those in your exact match campaigns, but most importantly, you start optimizing your keyword for them same thing with your auto campaign. Auto campaign is simply get, giving Amazon money and saying, do whatever you do best. Find me products or find me customers. Um, and, and, and more importantly, find me keywords that customers are searching to find products like mine. And then you take those, especially those that generated sales, and you put them in your exact match PPC campaigns. And but most importantly, making sure that your listing is optimized. Now, one important aspect that you have to think about is, you know, people ask, how long should I keep my PPC campaigns running for? And I always say, if you are putting a dollar and getting anything more than a dollar out, why would you ever turn them off? Keep scaling them, right? But then your organic listing, your listing itself needs to be showing up organically for specific keywords in order for you to become profitable because PPC does not always you know, it's not always profitable, right? But then if your PPC is only 20, 30% of your total sales, and even if it's at break, even it's helping you scale your listing altogether, where your organic listing will start showing up, which does not have any customer acquisition costs because it's free, right? You're getting free traffic to your listing. So all of the profit you're taking and putting in your pocket. Hope this helps you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.